Alrighty, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a chessboard in Onshape. Uh, you might be noticing in here this chessboard is actually too big by two uh, squares on both sides. So it should be an 8x8. Eight eight. So we're going to go through, we're going to recreate this, make it the correct dimensions. But this is what it'll look like in general. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do the back so that you can see the general process of what we're doing. If you also look over here, you'll see the different features that I used. I was using the linear pattern tool. This is going to save us a whole lot of steps. So in this step right here, basically I used the linear pattern tool just to create two new squares and then actually change the color of that, just like that. Uh, but then we can back it up again and then basically use the linear pattern tool to copy those squares there. Okay, so now let's go all the way back to the beginning here. And so what I also did here is I obviously changed the color of that. I also used the fillet tool on this step to kind of round out that edge as well. Okay, <clears throat> so I am going to do this a little bit different this time around. I'm going to actually create these square pieces first of the board, and then I'm going to create the border afterwards. Well, what we're going to want to do is first go to the top plane. I'm going to use that as my sketch plane. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the corner rectangle tool. Now the corner rectangle tool, I'm going to create a corner right here. Now, chess pieces, the individual squares, are anywhere from 2, I think, to 2.5 inches. I'm going to make mine 2 inches. And then so now what we need to do is I need to extrude this piece here. So now to extrude this piece, I'm going to have it be a new part. I'm going to make this be 0.2 inches in depth. And then now I'm going to press the green check mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of this. Now the color that I'm going to go with is it's all going to be uh, variations of this color in this, um, in this uh, column right here. So that's my first piece. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top plane again, create another sketch. And then what I'm going to do for my sketch plane, I'm going to select top plane again. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make sure I got the coincident constraint on this. I'm going to go ahead and create this. I'm going to make this 2 by 2 inches. And then so now once again, I'm going to extrude again. And then I'm going to make that, just as we did before, 0.2 inches in depth. And then now, as you can see in here on the extrude, whenever I clicked OK there, this is adding to that object. I want to make this actually a new object. It should be its own object. And then so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this be the darker shade of brown. So let's go with something like, let's maybe go with something with this shade. I kind of like that shade. Okay, so now this is where we're going to end up using the linear pattern tool. So the linear pattern tool, we'll click on this. The entities to pattern are going to be these two squares. The direction, we want to actually click on this line right here. So it'll repeat it along this. Now, as you can see, I need to select an actual distance for this. So now the distance is going to be four inches. Why is that? Because it needs to go past these two squares here and then go on to this next one. And then so now we're going to press the green check mark and you'll see that we've created two extra ones. Well, what I want to do is I'll double click in here and I want to actually create it so that there are eight of these. So the instance count of what we want is going to actually be four here. So we got two, four, six, eight. So that's eight. Press green check mark. And then now what we're going to want to do is once again, do the linear pattern tool. We're going to use these two entities here. And then the direction we're going to be patterning those about is going to be this direction. The distance is going to be two inches this time because we're only going past this one distance. And then what we're going to do, oh, Sawyer, make sure you don't take the, don't take the box drive out. Yeah. Uh, but then, sorry about that, everybody. But then what we're going to want to do is we're going to press the green check mark. And then now we want to change the colors of this. So Basically, if we come in here, if I select this part, you can see that it's part nine. So what I want to do is I want to double click this and then I'm going to make sure that this has this color. Then this part is part 10. We're going to double click that and we're going to make sure that part 10 has this color. So now, as you can see, it alternates, right? So then I'm going to go to the linear pattern tool again. I'm going to click on these two guys and then I'm going to click the direction. We're going to make it go this way. Once again, we're going to put in four inches in here and then we're going to need a instance count of four. And then so now we've got where it's basically just these two rows, right? So then now what we can finally do is I can select all of these parts. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the linear pattern tool once again. The direction this time is going to be in this direction, right? We're going to make sure that there's a distance of four inches on here. And then the instance count we're going to be using is uh, four in this case. So now as you can see, this is a square. It's two, four, six, eight by eight squares. Press the green check mark. And so now we have that created. So now what I want to end up doing is I want to create a perimeter around this actually. And so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to actually, um, we're going to select the top plane and then I'm going to create a sketch on that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the corner rectangle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in here 
and I'm going to click on this corner so that's a coincident with that corner and then I'm also going to click the coincident again on this then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create an offset as well so I'm going to click on these four pieces around here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually offset this by probably about half of an inch is what I'm going to go for so half an inch if you also wanted to you could make it a little bit bigger maybe let's make it one inch just just because so now I've got it where we got one inch I'm gonna press enter press enter again and then so now as you can see I've got these two um, these two little pieces here so now what I want to do is I want to actually come in here and so we want to select right here if I click this you'll see all of this is shaded in basically what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have this go down um, by about a little bit of a distance and then I'm going to actually have this or actually what we could do is yeah I'm gonna actually first let's do this instead I'm gonna click on this outside border and so now what I want this to do is I want this to go up to the edge right here the thickness of this that's gonna it's gonna be extruded by I want it to go up to this edge and then what I also want is for it to go down a little bit too so I'm gonna click extrude and I'm going to set this as the symmetric option now what I want is this should be let's see here if we do half an inch nope a little too big we want to do 0.4 inches so yeah we'll do 0.4 inches and then so now because that's symmetric basically it's extruded 0.2 inches here and then also 0.2 inches up here so then now we can press the green check mark and then basically what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to click on the edges of each of these to give this kind of a better design I'm going to actually uh, end up using the fillet tool so let me deselect that edge because I don't want this edge to be selected and then so now I'm going to end up filleting this and then I'm going to fillet this by let's see here maybe about 0.3 inches what I'm thinking 0.3 maybe maybe even more 0.4 let's see if that'll work yeah 0.4 let's do that and then now obviously this color scheme does not go well with that at all that blue so we're going to go all the way down here to the bottom I'm going to make this a pretty dark brown just like that and then finally the last part is we do need to fill on fill in this inside part here so what I want to do is go back to sketch three and I want to select sketch three as you can see this whole thing is selected now so then I need to extrude and then what I'm going to do is as the depth I want to actually switch this around so as you can see now this material is starting to go into there what I want to do instead is have it where it's going down right and then it should go to the very bottom part of this which we should remember that was 0.2 inches so then now as you can see this little arrow is down here at the bottom of this and if I look at this it looks pretty clean right now what I can do is I can add this and the merge scope would be this so that now it's basically just going to all be one part with this base or that outside perimeter and then so now as you can see we've got our chest board created so go back to the isometric view there it is it is eight squares by eight squares so that is up to regulation for this chessboard. all right don't forget like comment and subscribe catch you all later bye bye